हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ दीपक चौहान एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दीपक्स फाइन आर्ट टुडे आई हैव वेरी स्पेशल थिंग फॉर यू दैट सी बी एस ई चेंज इट्स सिलेबस फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड वॉट आर द चेंजेस इन द कैलेंडर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो देर आर वेरियस many problems are in the whole world related to covid-19 and lockdown extended many times and right now students are not attending the school manually some schools even not sending the notification regardingly it is all big confusion like when the session will start if it is starting also how would be the syllabus completion and all these things might be there in your mind right now so i am here to aware about the new syllabus of 2020 20 has been launched by cbse do not follow any other site for cbse other than cbse.nic.in and according to it syllabus has been reduced some changes just like most of the activities will be done from home this is all mostly engaging activities this is just for information video and it is for online class interact with the educators online polls and leaderboard test series and analysis so it is all about online classes because our aim is quality education to all as you are looking on the screen fine arts are having four streams under it so it is for both 11th and 12th here painting graphics sculpture and applied arts so this four are here with their code like for painting 049 for graphics 050 Uh, for sculpture 051 and applied art or commercial art 052 so here it is all mentioned and now in this portion whatever the theory part and the practical part is coming they mentioned it below here first six limbs of painting shadang so it is covering the theory part also and the practical part also so in this we will learn about the fundamental of painting so in this we have principle and the elements of painting which is coming in the second chapter of this fine arts so in uh, basically inside the fundamental of point line color tone texture and space unity harmony balance rhythm emphasis and proportion these are coming inside it and if you are looking for the third point drawing and painting material so they showcase all the painting materials what like uh, pencil color water color acrylic color and transparent media i will look for the abstraction and stylization so they are for shortening perspective eye level to draw the still life actually basically it is we are going to use for all the drawing for the basic part of it so fixed point of view vanishing point ratio proportion sketching drawing light and shade still life landscape anatomy basically which is need for all the human and the animal structure anatomy is very important to learn about it and vertical horizontal uh, two or three dimensional uh, this is all about perspective transparent opaque paper that is uh, the material which we are going to use inside it handmade canvas hard board and all the related stuff etc so now here it is all about drawing and painting materials if you will choose media and composition uh, you have collages mosaic painting mural fresco batik etc and uh, for sculpture you have different like kind of relief and round sculpture modeling and clay terracotta carving here the material will be different and their process will be little different from the painting and in graphics there is lino cut 
relief painting or printing and etching lithography silk screen printing so it is all coming in the graphic portion and applied for applied and commercial art book cover design illustration cartoon poster advertisement newspaper and magazine animation and printing process basically here photography computer graphics hoarding and tv uh, later press and offset printing this is all coming in applied and commercial art so this is now now the next page next page there is the introduction so if you are going to make the portfolio uh, they said like portfolio will consist of the completion of all artworks from sketch to finish product so we'll start with the sketching you need to understand more in the detailing to come with the finished product the submission would include both the original an improved version of the assigned task relatively of the gradual improvement so here you need to collect all of those sketches which you are making through whole year and now here you have to show the process and the progress step by step with the development and the work will be accessed in the all units now here the component of a portfolio here the schedule of work research skills resources and materials study of connection with the artist art movements art making skills you need to develop personal artist statement study like composition technique medium picture of the final work whatever reflective skills it is coming inside it evolution of the final work that is affective skills and any kind of personalized notes in the relation to the artwork so this all are the components of a portfolio if you are going to make a portfolio you need to remember this all the things and how you need to move for the progress of the portfolio's work here it is all mentioned if you look for the third point here profile of the learner's growth values and attitudes rubric this learners develop the ability to now here they mention what are the basic criteria to develop the ability in the learners process so it is all mentioned here we are coming on the next page it is portfolio assessment for fine arts may be done of the basics of or the basis of the following criteria so first here they mention the creativity in creativity the candidates are required to produce the evidence that demonstrate a creative approach to problem solving candidates must required right to produce evidences whatever the portfolio you are making that is a kind of evidence like how many works you did in the whole year so it will come in the portfolio so it is evidence for cbsc and evidence should also include the ability to uh, given brief and original approaches to the produce a solution like sketchbook notebook and relevant support material should form part of this evidence so you need to make a sketchbook for it notebook and relevant support materials like painting if you are going to do that will be on canvas and if you have some comic book there will be some different book you can make to submit your portfolio in this five things are coming they mention here at first drawing second is detailed study observation record analysis interpreting and variety of subject so detailed study in this study we will uh, discuss the theory part in the practical session the third is mood reflecting fourth is follow up of the fundamental of visual art here elements and the principles of arts we will discuss 
फिफ्थ पार्ट मैसेज द आर्टिस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू कन्वे द मेन पर्पस ऑफ आर्ट लाइक वॉट एवर मैसेज और आर्टिस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू कन्वे इन द सोसाइटी हियर दिस आर बेस्ड ऑन टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज इनोवेशन एंड द सेकेंड इज फॉर टेक्निक सो इन इनोवेशन द नॉलेज गेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ केस स्टडी लाइक हिस्टोरिकल इम्पॉर्टेंस ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट हाउ हैज द अब बी अंडरस्टूड इन द रिलेशन टू द टॉपिक और द थीम टेकन अप बाय द स्टूडेंट्स एंड इन द टेक्निक to foster creativity and self expression basic understanding of the color concept and application in the re- uh, relation to the color and texture of the material used by the students the techniques here size detail proportion required according to the base used for the painting medium chosen according to their art streams technique studied from the folk style contemporary art or the traditional art should be used while creating a new concept so the work based on the innovation and technique here the students need to uh, increase their innovating process and the technique basically in the techniques how they are using the color how they are creating the textures how the materials is used by the student to create the textures so this all are basic techniques so in this perspective proportion many things will come for learners why it is all required they are asking for so here they are discovered their potential for creativity self expression and visual awareness through the painting feel confident with the chosen medium and means of the communicating and the generating ideas develop observation recording manipulation and application here they mention the execution of work so in execution some process are there like while the art class i'll discuss this execution work how you will make the art more executed by you here we'll discuss about it experimentation in experimentation the process to progress the work it is all mentioned here like candidates are required to show the evidence of research carried out it is expected that their skills will be demonstrated evidence of the process and the exploration of the wide range of subject and accepted standard of the achievement using the range of media and the material should be an integral part of the candidates development so in the progressive work it will come for skills basically sound aesthetical judgment and the organization skills should be demonstrated in the process of presented by the candidates and now here logical orientation and collection of creation and critical evolution and aesthetical judgment applied this all you can understand while you are doing the art with the progress we look for the next page now here the main thing you know that uh, the code of the painting it is 049 so here the basic understanding of the painting for the senior secondary stage it is a elective subject you know all that elective means like a subject which you are choosing to develop your um, uh, basic skills about uh, your favorite subject so in the objectives theory and practical both the things are there in theory we'll discuss how is the syllabus and theory is basically the students understanding about the art and the practical a practical purpose you know already we uh, develop the skill of using drawing painting material to sharpen their observation skills to develop the skills of draw paint to develop the understanding of the painting composition to create the forms and the color schemes and imagination with the ability to express them effectively in the drawing and painting 
to express the different feeling and the moods of life and nature in line forms and color so this is all purpose of practical for the painting come on the next page painting here the theory part in detailing we are discussing for this it is for 30 marks and for exam 2 hours to complete the paper in this 3 units are there and unit number 1 has 2 chapters in this 2 chapters 6 limbs of painting and fundamental of visual arts here elements and the principles of art will discuss and chapter number B for the prehistorical rock paintings and art of Indus Valley. So this this is for 24 periods and about 5 plus 5 for 10 marks. If you look for the unit number 2 Buddhist, Jain and Hindu art. It is for 24 periods and covering 10 marks. Now unit number 3 temple sculptures bronze artistic aspects of indo-islamic architecture it is for 24 periods and covering 10 marks so completion of the period or total number of the period is 72 periods and covering for 30 marks in the theory part of 11th class painting on the next page here it is all detailing what will be there in the units so it all content like um, prehistorical time if you are going to read there are many things like period and location a study of method and material appreciation of the so here it is already we discussed come on the next page allotted for the practical is 6 hours 3 plus 3 and the maximum marks for the question paper of the practical is for 70 marks so the what will be the units inside it there will be the three units like as the same in the theory part unit number one is having nature and the object study for 50 periods that is for 25 marks second unit number second painting composition is covering by 50 periods and it's about 25 marks for third unit we need to make one portfolio assessment so it is covering 48 periods about 20 marks portfolio is the work which you are going to do in the whole year so total period or total number of period will be 148 and here the marks obtained by 70 another different part so a study of two or three natural and geomet geometrical forms in the pencil with the light and shade form a fixed point of view natural forms like plants vegetables fruits and flowers etc are to be used like when we are composing still life we can keep this on um, in front of us and we can draw so light and shade and perspective proportion we can check it there so it is all i'll take one by one classes so you will understand more it better right in unit number two painting and composition this is basically the exercise of the basic design in the variation of geometrical and rhythmic shapes in geometrical and decorative designs and colors understanding designed by organized visual arrangements so in this unit we will learn about the designs and unit number three is having portfolio assessment so in portfolio assessment how will be the mark arrangement so here they mentioned it the record of the entire year's performance from the sketch basically it is for a sketch a sketch for the whole year it is for 10 marks 
and number 2 b 5 selected natures and object studies like nature and object drawing any 5 good selection we need to keep in the portfolio it is for 5 marks number 3 c 3 selected works of the painting composition done during the year so any 3 works you can take to submit in the painting composition number 4 d that is 2 selected works based any indian folk painting to any 2 selected folk painting you can do to achieve 2 marks so here this are the criteria which CBAC mentioned in the practical part so it is all about the syllabus of 2020-21 and here the students basically need to create more beautiful works and the syllabus beautifully designed to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet like the channel press the bell icon and keep watching my channel i will meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye